Okay, so we're going to start the Julian OP illustration. So I'm going to go to new, and because I've got the newest version of Illustrator, this screen is slightly different, but you want to make sure that you find the A3 and create. This will give you an A3 sheet of paper. Uh, mine is landscape. If I click onto the artboard tool, I can change that to portrait. We really want it to be portrait as we are doing a portrait. Next thing I need to do is to import my photograph. So I'm still using Ryan. I go to file, I go to place, and I find Ryan's picture, which is here click and I place it in, click once and you'll see Ryan's photograph. This, uh, now I'm going to look at my layers, look at my layers and Ryan is on one layer here and I'm actually going to lock that layer so I can now no longer select it. With the create new layer button, and I'm going to click and I'm going to create a layer. And this is the layer where I'm going to do my actual artwork. Uh, I'm going to click on to the pen tool. And uh, if you, uh, as before, if you've got a one column toolbar, if you click on the chevrons here, the two um, arrows, it goes into the two column. That's probably the best way when you're learning Illustrator. Here I've got a fill, I've got a white fill. I'm going to make that none. And I'm going to click onto the stroke, double click it, and make it a really nice, bold, bright color. Uh, this is intentional because I really want to be able to see what uh, I am doing when I'm drawing. Uh, for this exercise, it's really good to use the space bar. So I'm holding down the space bar and it allows me to navigate around my image. And I'm going to draw Ryan's face to start off with. So I click the pen tool. I'm working on this layer here. And I just click and pull where I want the line to go. So I'm clicking and I'm pulling the handles, these handles are called Bezier handles. I click and I pull in the direction that I want the line to go. I'm clicking, pulling. Just going to hold down spacebar. Spacebar then allows me to very easily and quickly move my image around. So spacebar. Now I've come to a, a right angle here, so I've just clicked once and then click and pull in the direction that I want to go. Click and pull. Now if I make a mistake, I can use the direction tool and use these handles, pull these handles out and move the anchor point if I wish. Okay, that's a way that I can make good mistakes. Click back on to the pen tool put my pen there and you'll see that it's telling me it's got an anchor and the cursor has got a forward slash that means I'm going to carry on with this line okay. let's carry on so a bit more space bar allows me to move everything around space bar carry on around here carry on up here around here around his hair and down to the bottom of his ear. When I put my cursor uh, uh, above the anchor point, I get a circle, this circle here. That means that I'm going to complete an enclosed shape. Click onto that, so now it is an enclosed shape. So when I do a fill, let's sample his skin tone. When I do a fill, uh, it will look like that. Um, Julian Opie always has a big black line around his illustrations. So double click onto that. 
make it black click OK you can't see it because I need to actually make sure that it's got a stroke okay let's do it this way actually let's not do it that way so once it's once I've got a stroke on here I can just double click that and make it black okay now you can see that I can't see Ryan's face anymore so I'm just going to turn that off make a new layer and start working on his neck and this is a hierarchy so his face is going to be in front of his neck so I'm just going to click his neck down on his neck and if I if the whole of the layer is highlighted it means that I'm going to drop this layer in another layer I don't really want to do that in fact don't do that just keep on until you get the horizontal line and then let go so this neck layer is going to be below his face I'm just double clicking to rename these okay so back on the pen tool now it's saying that I can't draw on this one because it's turned off so I need to make sure that I'm on the right layer and same thing no strip no fill a nice bright stroke so I can see exactly what I have done click hold pull that's quite a big line so let me just click on that again and make it one pixel Let's zoom in with the mouse over you'll see I get a slanted line that says that I'm going to continue with this line and the same thing I'm clicking and I'm pulling in the direction that I want the line to go there's a bit of a skill to doing this you might not get it the first time but try and carry on to get it correctly now over his chin it doesn't really matter what I do here because his face is going to be on top of this so let's highlight a bit of his skin and give him a black stroke so let's go to black click OK and now when I click this one on you'll see that his face is actually hiding his uh, the neck okay let's turn these off We've, these are now done click another one drag that to the top making sure that I'm careful not to put it in to the layer but I need to put it above the layer and this is going to be Ryan's hair so same thing no fill double click make it nice and red so I can see where I've been and make it one pixel and then we'll start doing his hair now his hair is a little bit more um, pointy and a little bit more sort of detailed so I can sort of be a little bit more creative in just using a sort of clicky uh, dotty line so it's less smooth let me just quickly whiz around here it's a bit smoother here you can put lots of effort in do lots of sort of detail and do it really carefully I'm not doing any of that I'm just showing you how to do it so I'm just going to do it really sort of quite rough you can spend a lot more time doing it a lot more carefully so I'm just whizzing around his hair and I'm always sort of touching and holding spacebar spacebar couldn't really be a proper designer without using spacebar so try not to go back get the hand move it or go down here and move these they're quite difficult to control just get used to using spacebar a really really quick way of manipulating and moving around your work so again we've got a complete shape I select it I use the sampler tool the eyedropper tool click a color okay and now let's start having a look mm, actually I've done that here quite badly 
So let's double click, make it black. So I make my stroke six pixels and then make it black. Okay, that's slightly better. I haven't done it particularly well. Um, okay, let's turn these off again and make a new layer. And this is going to be the eyes, the eyes. And Julian Opie uses the ellipse tool. So just going to have a fill and I'm holding down Alt and Shift, Alt and Shift to draw centrally and to make it symmetrical. Okay, there's one eye, oops, one eye. And Julian Opie, I think, usually has a little round highlight in the eyes as well. So let's make that white. Okay. Select, hold down shift, select both of those, hold down alt, put in the other eye there. Then let's do the eyebrows. I'm making a nice red colour and I'm going to click, click pull, click pull, click pull, click pull click hold and pull, so actually click hold and pull, okay, and then let's do the other side, so a bit of space bar, click hold and pull, click hold and pull, click hold and pull, click hold and pull, and I'm pulling in the direction I want the line to go, okay, so let's select both of these, Okay, no stroke on these. Click that. I can use the eyedropper. And now let's control alt uh, control a uh, spacebar, control alt, and we can zoom out a little bit. So it looks a bit odd until we turn all these things on. So we're sort of getting to a Julian OP style. Let's carry on with the nose. Okay. Now, Julian Opie's nose, the style of his nose, is uh, not an oval, but they are just shapes. So click, pull, click, pull, click. And then that will be a nose shape there. Same over here. Click. Pull, click, pull, click. Okay, so again, getting a bit more Julian OP. Uh, the nose, sorry, the mouth. The mouth is probably the most difficult to do if you go into a Julian OP. So let's just go to Google, google.com and look at the Julian OP style, you'll see that the mouth is just a sort of top line and a bottom line. So let's have a go at doing that. So with the pen, with the pen, I'm just going to click, 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 click. Okay. Turn everything else on. So that should be a line to start off with. It should be a little bit thicker. And if you go under window and go to strokes, there's the stroke. Then you click on the hamburger, show options. Then you can make the cap round. So Julian Opie always uses a cap, which is round. Maybe move that up a little bit more. Maybe move that down a little bit more. So I'm using the direct selection tool here. The direct selection tool allows you to ma manipulate the anchor points. Then let's now do a bottom, a bottom, oh, a bottom, oh, 
let's lock this one because I don't think I'm working on that one. I should be working on this one. Wow. Yeah, I'm working on this one. Okay, let's just try the bottom lip here. Something like that. And sample the same. Use the eyedropper and it'll give you a um, rounded cap. Okay, so that is pretty much how you would do a Julian Opie. Once you have done that, you need to do the clothes. You would need to do a Julian Opie style background. So choose you know, a color that he would use. Draw in a background. Okay, uh, you need to put in his body. Um, and also the highlights on the hair. If you look at some of Julian Opie's, like this self-portrait here. This is a good one. Okay, so these highlights that you can do here. Yeah, I think that is the Julian Opie style. I'll just finish off by doing his clothes. Okay, just to show you again. So, uh, no fill, nice bright color, so you can see where you've drawn. And zoom in, and then use the space bar to click, click in the direction that you want to go. Now try and avoid, when you're doing clothes and stuff, doing when you first start using the illustrator, you have a tendency to just click, 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 and that makes quite a jaggedy line. It's great for hair, but try and get used to click, hold, and pull in the direction that you want the line to go. This is really a foundation skill for uh, using this software. Where am I going? Oh, I'm going around the shirt. Okay, so let's carry on with the shirt all the way down here. Down here, down to there. And the little O indicates it's going to be a complete round shape. Sample clothing. And uh, you can do the checks on here as well. That would be a nice thing to do. Space bar. It's a good lock all the other ones so you don't get confused about what layer so that's just like layer organization really okay and I'm drawing with a fill and you can see it can be quite difficult to draw with a fill although I'm going to change it carry on with the fill and also you can see it's quite difficult to see the line if you're doing black on black so let's carry on drawing around up here and then sample that sample that to be the same and the same thing needs to have a black black stroke on it we're using stroke six make it black click onto there stroke six uh, that should be black I think it is black yep click all of these on the clothing needs to go above now. So it's starting to look Julian OP like. Let's just do Orion's t shirt, which is, I drag that to there, lock everything else up, and then I can just click, click, and pull. And I can draw in his t shirt. I'm going to make it a lighter color so you can actually see it. There you go. Easy stuff. Easy stuff. So I'll select everything, push it up a bit, and enlarge it a bit. Okay. And that off. There you go. So the more detail you can put in the hair, the clothing, the better.